Hi everyone, I'm Megan Parker, the Development Manager here at Padres Pedal the Cause. We're going to be hosting a few videos in the next couple weeks to answer some of our most frequently asked questions from participants leading up to the event. Today we're going to be talking about courses and safety, but there's a few announcements that I want to get to before we go. Uh, don't forget our last training ride is October 20th at Petco Park. We have a 25 and a 50 mile cycling route um, and also we'll be adding a new 5K training run. Uh, so make sure to get those details on our Facebook and we hope to see you there. Okay, so now to the fun stuff. I want to introduce my colleague Lauren Diaz. She's the Senior Director of Finance and Operations. She plans all of our courses and wants to ensure uh, a nice, fun, and enjoyable, safe course for everybody on event day. So welcome, Lauren. Thank you, Megan. All right, let's get right into our questions then. Uh, so talk to us about aid stations. How many will there be and what can we expect to see as far as support? Great, Megan. So uh, each of the four courses will have an aid station about every 10 to 12 miles. Uh, the exact locations will be posted in our rider handbook, which we'll be sending out to all registered participants about two weeks prior to the event. Um, so, for example, the 100 mile will have six different stops. Um, as far as food and hydration, we're very happy to announce that Kashi is a new partner this year. So they're our official on-course bar, so all the aid stations will be fully stocked with Kashi. We also have GQ6 as our hydration partner, so there'll be water and GQ6 available at the aid station. Uh, there'll also be tons of snacks. We'll have fruit, trail mix, Twizzlers, and a fan favorite pickles. Uh, also, for anyone doing the 88 or 100 miler, there'll be a lunch stop at Kuamaka College, so there'll be a, a bigger meal there for the longer riders. Um, and each of the aid stations will be fully staffed with a mechanic and first aid as well. Yeah, we've been told that people actually gain weight on our ride, so you will not go without snacks, trust me. Um, okay, so as a new cyclist, Lauren, this is something I'm always concerned about. Uh, so tell us about course safety and traffic control on our courses. Well, Megan, as an experienced cyclist, I'm also very concerned with safety, so this is uh, near and dear to my heart. Um, first, basically, we ask that all the riders um, follow rules of the road. So we will obey all traffic lights, stop signs, use bike lanes, ride single file, um, especially on the bike path as well. Um, we also have police and traffic control in certain areas as needed. Um, second area is bike safety. So we also have a great new partner in Pulse Endurance that is offering a free bike safety check to any of our riders between now and November 10th. So again, check out Pulse Endurance. There's two locations in San Diego and they're giving out free bike safety checks. Highly recommend we take advantage of this. Um, and then also new this year, again, kind of along the lines of safety, um, the longer rides, the 88 and the 100 miler will have cutoff times. Um, again, all this detail will be posted uh, in the rider handbooks. All right, now what if I get a flat tire or my bike breaks down on the road? Well, Megan, uh, along with our courses being very well signed, we're also very well supported. So there are 10 different uh, SAG vehicles, um, which our sponsor BMW has provided us these SAG vehicles, which will be equipped with a mechanic um, that can help you along the way. If it's something more serious, uh, they'll actually transport you to the nearest aid station where we have the full mechanics. Um, we also have ride marshals, which will be on each of the four different courses, um, providing safety, help changing flats, whatever the riders need on course. So all of our cycling routes go over the Coronado Bridge, which is really exciting and fun. If you've never done it before, I highly encourage it. Uh, but we have a few people who are signing up for the 25 that are worried about getting up the bridge. So can you tell us what it's like and do you have any advice to get up? Yeah, I think the biggest thing, um, just first to note, it's at the beginning of the ride, so everyone's really fresh. Um, the biggest piece of advice though really is just to make sure you're in the easiest gear possible. Um, as you're heading onto the bridge, we make a left-hand turn and the beginning of the bridge is probably the steepest. So as you approach the bridge, just shift down and make sure you're in an easy gear. Yeah, I think important to note too is that uh, we have people do this 25 mile route on a beach cruiser, on a deco bike, so whatever you have in the garage, bring it on out. You'll be definitely fine to do the 25 mile. Um, okay, so another big announcement, hopefully everybody knows, we have a new 5K run walk this year. Um, so tell us about that course. Yeah, Megan, so the 5K walk run, which is also str stroller friendly, so bring the family out, starts at the Hilton Bayfront. Um, and then you go down the Embarcadero up to Seaport Village and then all the 5Kers get to finish on the field at center field uh, with all the cyclists and spinners. And what about our pets? Can we bring them? Uh, sorry Jordan, no go. Sorry, sorry guys, but no Aww. pets allowed in our 5K. I tried. Um, okay, so uh, as our resident cycling expert, any other advice you might have for us? Yeah, so I think last of kind of the three things to highlight is the bike safety check. So take, take advantage of the 
check from Pulse Endurance. Um, lastly, we still have about two months to go, so get that training in, especially if you're doing one of the lo uh, longer routes. It will be much more enjoyable come event day if you've done the training. Um, and then lastly, too, although our courses are very well marked, um, you can go on our website and you can download the courses to your phone or bike computer. Awesome. Great advice. Thank you, Lauren, for answering all of our questions today. Um, if you guys have any more questions, feel free to email us. Um, my email is megan at gopedal.org. As Lauren mentioned, we'll be sending out the rider handbook a few weeks before the event to get all of these details as well. But we look forward to seeing you all on November 17th.